Hello, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aggie Linus. If you're joining in for the first time, I'm super excited to have you. <clears throat> I film about faith, motherhood, and lifestyle in general. And on today's vlog, I'm bringing you what I have captioned 20 daily loads of benefits. I mean, it's a new series. We're starting it today. Uh, between now and the end of July 2021, we have 20 days. So I thought we can be getting capsules from the word of God to score or boost our faith, to be more productive and to make the most of the remaining parts of the year. So on day one of our daily load of benefits series is pray. What do you need to make the most of the remaining parts of the year? You need prayer. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 7 saying, Bible says, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. That means Pray continually. Pray always. Pray all the time. And, you know, it, it is only proud people that don't pray. Only proud people don't pray. Yes, why do I say so? Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 4 saying, the Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and, you know, the rest of other things but the emphasis here is on prayer and humble so bible says if my people can acknowledge you know that they need help and then come to seek for the help in the place of prayer prayer i will do this i will do that i will do that so anytime you feel you don't need to pray anytime you don't you don't see the need or the essence of prayer just so that pride is setting in you're invariably saying you can figure it out you're telling god you do not need help you're telling god that you can handle it okay see how does it feel giving someone a cell phone and sending the person on an errand to a strange country tell the person anything you need call me i mean when um you have any challenge call me and the person goes a day two three one week one month without calling you what does that mean? It means he doesn't have any challenge. It means he doesn't need help. It means he got, he, he's got everything under control. So when you do not pray, when you do not call your father, when you do not reach out to God in prayer, it means you're saying, you're fine. Everything is figured. I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay, Lord. Ah, your, your daughter is fine. Whereas you're crying, you're struggling with things that you need him, you need his help on. And you know, Communication is the bedrock of every relationship. You already know, I believe. Now, prayer is the bedrock of the Christian life. God sent us on the earth to fulfill a unique purpose. We can't fulfill that purpose without calling him always. Without, And you know when you communicate with someone, it's not all the time that you need something. You can communicate to, to share good news. You can communicate to make a request. You can communicate to... Um, to say thank you. So there are several ways. There are several reasons we pray. Now, you do not wait for to be done doing every other thing before you pray. The devil will want to always distract you from praying. He would always want to distract you by, you know, putting a lot of activities before you, telling you you need to get this done, you need to get that done, before you know you're tired and you can't pray. Be smarter than the devil. Whilst you're doing your chores as a woman, as a housewife, you're praying in the Holy Ghost. Whilst you're doing your work, whilst you're attending to people, whilst you're doing other things, you're praying because Christ lives in us. He lives in us, so we don't need to be in a particular position or go somewhere special to pray. We can pray on the go. You can pray whilst you're doing what you are doing. Yes, you do not wait to be done. Pray on the go. That way, you you would have you you would have you know succeeded in praying. You know more hours. You succeeded in outsmarting the devil who wants to get you distracted. And sometimes you might feel weak. That's prayer infirmity. You feel weak to pray. All you need to do is to build up yourself. Build up yourself according to Jude 20. Build up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So when you feel that your prayer life is going down, you don't need to call somebody. Oh, um, my dear, my prayer life is going down. Can you help me? The moment you start feeling that your prayer life is going down, what do you need to do? Pray in the Holy Ghost. As you bless in tongues like that, before you know, because prayer is not a monologue. So God will in turn respond. So as he responds to you, there's this romance in the realm of the spirit. Before, when you're done, you can see that you're energized and ready to face the day or to conquer that challenge because you feel so 
energized in your spirit that you feel, I can leap over this world. Hey, glory to God. I can leap over this world. I can do this. I can do that. Because why? Your father has communicated back to you. You have spoken to the one who sent you to this earth to fulfill the purpose. So to make the most of the remaining part of this year, my dear, prayer is the key. Very important. All right. Thank you for listening. That will be all for today. Tomorrow, I'll bring you another daily load of benefits. Until then, stay blessed and highly favored. You're deeply loved and appreciated. Thank you and God bless you.